Finally, finally, we got Padme Amidala from Attack of the Clones. Phase 2 is all here. We got it just this hour. We're going to be going into a full preview video of the Natalie Portman figure. Star Wars fans can finally rejoice after years of getting a Padme on the shelf. Let's talk about it. What's up, guys? It's Riley Reviews back again with another figure preview. We are going to be talking about the Padme Amidala that just got recently released, one that people have been waiting for a long time and clamoring to Hot Toys to make sure that this gets made. We can finally have it right here, the Padme, and let's get into it and see how it turned out. So the most important thing, let's talk about the head sculpt. I always like talking about this with you guys. What do we all think? Let me know in the comments. Give me your score out of 10. What do you really rate this? Honestly, I'm going to say... This one's about an 8.5. An 8.5 out of 10, totally serviceable. I'm happy with it. If it turns out the same as it is in the Proto, I'm not going to have any complaints whatsoever. There are some angles that look a little more off than others, but then there's some that are like dead on. It looks Natalie Portman. So it, it's kind of a weird one. It's it's uh, interesting to think about. But to me, I'm going to I'm gonna end the score with like, yeah, an 8.5. It's, I'm totally happy with it. And if it gets improved, that'd be nice. But it's it's to me... An 8.5 is very good. Like it's that's that's a great score to me. It's it's not a Yondu, it's not a Tarkin, it's not a Dooku, but it's it's really good. It's a solid sculpt. And right here, it's kind of showing you what you're getting with the whole figure. What do you guys think? I mean, is this is this passable for what it comes with? Were you expecting more? Were you expecting less? I mean, we're gonna talk about the little side things there that actually isn't accurate to the film, but it's more so in a concept. But I mean, what you're getting, you're getting her gun. I mean, you weren't really expecting much to be honest, but. One thing we could talk about is those those four five hands that comes with and just those three lying there. Can we talk about that for a second? Because I don't know, is that is Hot Toys like people have been saying getting a little lazy with the with the hands? Because I actually saw that some hands are not matching. Like that, there's not matching hands that come with one of the hands. See that one right there on the side? It's only the one hand that has the hand for the blasters that is for her right hand, I believe. But you don't have one for her left, so you're kind of forced to have her holding the gun to the right hand. So little interesting there. It is what it is. That's kind of a pet peeve. It's not It's not too big of a deal, but it might be to others. Let me know what you guys think. But um, let's keep going into the photos right here. Bonus unused headpiece from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. I don't know if you guys can see that, but here it is. What do you guys think about this? Would you guys end up displaying it in this way? I know it's not like an actual used piece from the film, but it's kind of nice that Hot Toys included this. I really wasn't expecting it. It kind of reminds me of the Attack of the Clones um, clone, clone Trooper we got recently. It was a couple months ago where it gave you that animated head sculpt from the from the Clone Wars. It's kind of cool that Hot Toys kind of throws that in because, I mean, this figure, we weren't really expecting much. It's a bare bones figure, but to get that other look, extra look for her, I don't think collectors are going to complain. It's definitely a nice one to have, and it looks pretty cool. I, I'd be tempted in having this look, but you got to have the iconic look right here. I mean, look at that. Look at that, guys. This is... There's angles like this where I'm just like, okay, it's a nine, it's a 9.5. Like it looks exactly like Natalie Portman. Then there's some that are, that are others. So that's why I'm kind of like on the fence with it. Maybe it's a nine. I don't know. But one thing we could talk about, this is not the figure we saw two years ago at San Diego or wherever it was. It's, this looks like the tailoring is just spot on bang on. I talked about this on my previous video. Make sure to check the, that out. If you guys want to see both figures, I talked about Padme here, talked about Anakin in a previous video, but the tailoring they've done on both of these is just perfection. Amazing job from hot toys. Very, very well done. Everything looks great. And like I said, the sculpt I, it's, it's some angles. It looks really bang on others. Just not as much a little bit more of a miss, but right here still looks very good. I'm, I'm liking it. Whew, this just looks like a stunning figure guys. It's one of those figures, man, where you just, you're going to be happy with it when you unbox it. And you're going to be happy when you unbox both of these, man, because this duo right here, you need it. You need it, guys. You need this, this display right here. I know it's going to be that hard one where you're like, do I only get Padme? Do I only get Anakin? I mean, come on, guys. You More and more enough, you're going to pick up both of these in the line. She looks great, though. I mean, she has that blaster right there. Another pose here, a simple pose from her. Her with her arms to her side looks great. Again, I think, honestly, this photo... Oh, the best one that you're going to get in the whole, in the whole line. I mean, that, that photo right there is, if you don't see Natalie Portman, I don't know. Art is subjective, so it is what it is. But to me, that looks exactly like Natalie Portman. It's amazing what they, what Hot Toys can do with the figure. It's, it's unbelievable. But um, again, wiring on that coat, you see that. Unless that's, like we said, sometimes they do Photoshop, but that doesn't look Photoshop. I'm pretty sure that is confirmed. It looks pretty wired. So that's a nice plus. The, the actual like material on the cloth looks very well done. That's what I'd say. I mean, I, I don't know if I can zoom in even more, but I don't know if you guys can tell. It looks kind of like 
it's got a nice little texture to it. I'd, I'd be I'd be interested to see how that turns out. Uh, the hair, the sculpted hair looks amazing. I mean, you can almost think that this is rooted. This kind of just reminds me of, I mean, it's awesome to see, but it reminds me of Leia. It reminds me of her daughter. I mean, it's, it, it's really awesome. It's, this looks almost just like the Hoth Leia to me. It's, it's, it's a stunning piece. It looks really good. And I know there's so many people who have been asking for this. So the question is now that it's finally here, are you guys going to step it up to bat? Are you going to drop that change to get this Padme Amidala? Cause I know a lot of people are really, really excited for this, but there are also other people. Like, okay, maybe I'm not going to end up picking it up now. Seeing it, it's 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 here now. Maybe I don't need it anymore. But um, again, seeing this duo, oh man, I love it. I love this duo, Anakin and Padme. Again, to me, I think I rated it in my other video. Both of these were like an 8.5 to me. Like they didn't completely capture them like in and out, like like a Tarkin, like a Vader, like a like a DX Vader, like um, I don't even know what else could be so good, but not in any way am I complaining because once I get these on the shelf, <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait! I have this vision for this whole prequel line, and it's gonna it's gonna come to fruition, and I cannot wait to see the final product. But um, again, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about this? This is what everything it's coming with. I mean, you're not really you weren't really expecting much. Hands uh, the bases, the two bases for these are interesting. The way they're kind of cra crafted. Let me know what you think about that. Do you like that? It's kind of like. I believe like the platform when the, before they went into the arena, arena and they were trapped in that little platform place. So that's pretty cool. But um, again, guys, I don't think these are like 10 out of 10 sculpts, but to me, totally passable and they look phenomenal. Padme, it's going to be one that's coming to the shelf, I believe. I, I got to have this for my, my prequel love. I mean, all my prequel lovers out there, drop it in the comments below if you're a prequel diehard. I know there's not, there's a lot of those OG love OT fans, but um, uh, the, the prequels got a, got a special shout out to you there because that's that's my bread and butter. But um, yeah, both look amazing. I'm picking up both of them, but let me know if you guys are going to do. Are you going to pick up this Padme? Definitely one that people are anticipating for, but again, that could change in, in due time with all this influx of figures. But we'll wrap it there. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we get some more announcements. We're going to see in the coming days if we'll get that mace, if we'll get that battle droid. We're going to waiting on those two pretty much. I mean, we got the rest. I mean, I'm definitely excited about mace. I'm, I'm, I was talking about, I mean, these sculpts look very, very solid, not complainable at all. So I'm really curious to see how mace turns out. But ah, man, this attack of the clones line, it's becoming a huge line. Empire Strikes Back, I think we got three figures or four figures. Like they're already at like six or seven now. It's it's crazy to believe in. Uh, there, I feel like this is just the beginning for this prequel love, and I'm all for it. Let me know in the comments again, guys, what you guys think about this Padme figure and if you're going to end up picking it up. But we're probably going to wrap it there. Again, guys, if you can't see it right here, we have the subscriber goal. We're almost at 1K, the big 1K. Let's see if we can hit it on the week of the Attack of the Clones love, which is one of my favorite films because, I mean, I'm a prequel guy. I love the prequels. I mean, it wasn't the greatest film, I'll be honest, out of the prequel franchise, but... um. Uh, Revenge of the Sith is that's that's my favorite Star Wars film all time. But let me know what your guys' favorite is. But um, again, thank you for all the support this year, guys. It's December. We're getting to the cutoff of 2022, and we're about to hit 1K. We have a Christmas giveaway going on. If you haven't seen that, make sure to check it out. I'll drop it up here on the top so you guys can check it. But um, we're gonna cut it here, guys. We had a nice quick uh, quick preview for you here, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey.